before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. Welcome back to my channel guys and today we are going to go over a lot of tips that I found during my time playing Love Nikki because I thought that they would be helpful to you guys and these are going to be relatively like new and different tips. So it's not just like the ones I talked about before where if you go to the mystery house and exchange and do this, you can compound your crystal shoes. Like I'll explain that too but there's also going to be new ones over here. So without further ado, why don't we get started? So number one, this is one of my favorite tips for now. It's how to make a folder and how to use the folder. So first of all, if you go to your wardrobe, you go here and then you want to click folder. I already made one for myself and it's called pose. In order to add another one, like let's just say, I don't know, like select all blue. For this one, I can select it, confirm it, and then I can start adding to it. So I can add it and anything that's blue, for example, I could add it to this folder over here. So blue, 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 and blue, blue. So done and confirm. And then over here, you can see that in this folder, only blue items that I chose would show up. So that's why I named it blue. But for myself, I wanted to make something called posed because I want to focus on posed items only. And I really, really love this feature because it does separate things based on the item type. So let's say I chose posed and I'm going to add to the posed folder. Um, there are things that can be posed from the hosiery, shoes and accessories and other things, but I'll show you after. So in accessories, I already added glittering veil and trace of dream. So what we're going to do is we're going to press add. Then we're going to do search up here where there is a magnifying glass and then we're going to search it by name. So I did dream encounter because I know this one is a pose. Done. And there we go. So if we go to accessories, you're going to see that these are the posed things that I chose. There are obviously other things that you can choose as well. So just for the sake of this video, I'll add it right now. So let's do um, add and then search. I'm just going to do dream. I'm thinking of Anna's shoes. Let me see if I can find them here to the dream. So I selected it. You see the check mark done and confirm. So here you can see in the shoe section, there are the posed shoes. So why is this useful and how can you use it? So you go to free dressing and you're just like, well, there isn't anything you can really do here. Wrong. You go to see all and then you can see that there are different folders. So there's see all posed and blue. Remember what blue was? Blue was all my blue hairs. So that's very useful. And then for the posed, you can see that I put something for shoes and that's my shoe. And then I have something for accessories, which is bracelet and gloves. So one, two, three. See, that's really useful. So I really like this tip myself. So here is tip number two. Number two is to make the voting a little bit better in the competition. And I know there is a little bit of controversy to this because you're not actually voting for somebody you like, but you also can if you really wanted to. You just have to train yourself. If you want a very in-depth video, you can check out the video that I have linked above, or you can just search the competition glitch hack that I did. But um, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to press judge. And the second you press judge, you're going to click very fast on one of the characters to vote on them and you just have to time it and then you can start liking them at a very quick speed so judge and then i'm going to like it before it shows up and then once that shows i'm going to click it then it shows again i'm going to click it again and it doesn't matter what you click so i'm just doing opposite sides because it's easier for me to figure out or to you know understand the rhythm but then you can also just do it one side if you're not really caring about the rhythm and you don't really need anything else to do a rhythm and in case people who are thinking like, oh, but you're not even voting for someone you like, well, if you actually try hard enough and fast enough, you can vote for someone you like if you just look at it quickly. So I like the one on the left more, like the one on the right more, I like the one on the right more, and then I like the one on the left more. See, I can do it, and it just takes a little bit of practice, and you'll be able to speed through this all very quickly. So. All in all, I think that this is a dope little trick and it helps the competition go by so much faster. I think it's like a necessary part of your routine to do this because you want to collect your competition boxes. So I'm sorry right now if I'm speaking fast, but I'm just trying to like talk and then vote at the same time. And here, I did all 30 of that in less than like a minute or like two minutes. You can see at the bottom, so here's like a sub tip, but you can click on the competition boxes down here and then you can get rewards. So these rewards are always very great because you can have diamonds, you can have stamina, you can have those crystal roses, you can have starry coins, so very great. Which leads me to my third tip. And my third tip, like I think a lot of veterans 
veteran players already know this, but I'm just going to group them all up together. Like I said, competition boxes, that's one of them. And there is also the starry corridor over here where you can vote at the bottom. And once you reach 10 of them, you're able to get a prize. So those prizes can be anything from like diamonds, stamina, and like the honor points. So there's that. I'm just going to quickly vote through all of them and then you'll be able to see that real quick and then one more after this one so see three diamonds bomb and another place where you can do this is at the mystery house so if you have any crystal shoes over here which you probably will you have crystal shoe shards right you can compound them to have a crystal shoe piece so right now i have six but the easiest way to get these ones is just to buy a hundred and then you're able to get crystal shoe shards where you can compound them over here so that's one of them and then another place where you can get rewards but this only applies for people who are v1 and higher sorry guys for v0 you can click on your avatar remember to click the V sections so for me it's the V9 banner for you guys it could be a V something else just click that yellow thing and then you can see that you have privileges over here so remember to read all your privileges and then you can also claim these so remember to claim them because they're actually pretty good you get a lot of diamonds back especially if you spent a lot of money in this game if you become V15 you get 5,000 diamonds over here that you can collect so remember to do this so tip number four the search bar so a lot of you guys actually don't know this and I didn't know this myself until like halfway playing into the game but essentially this is super super good whenever we have events for like stamina and you need to find outfits quick times to see what you can craft so when you're pressing search don't do it by name do it by source and this is actually amazing so my favorite one is stage drop evolve because these are the best ones in terms of the level of ease it takes to craft these suits so these are all the suits that you can evolve just by finishing the princess stages they're all over here so i'm pretty much done all of these evolve suits but if you guys haven't already literally do this because these suits are the easiest with the biggest rewards it just takes a little bit of time but you know what like it's definitely worth it another category i really like is starlight store design because it helps me organize myself and it helps me kind of zone in on outfits that i can actually make rather than just kind of going through the kingdoms one by one and being like can i even craft this or can i craft this one or is this even available to craft right now because the sorting over here for the starlight store design like these are already all the ones you can craft craft so a plus really love this tip and hope you guys do too one thing i know a lot of us struggle with is to find hope rings and hope rings are actually so hard to come by so using the same tip i used before i can just go to the workshop and these are the outfits for decomposition all of these require hope rings or the rebirth earrings or the other item you need so i've been playing this game for a really long time and i've only finished aurora oval heart of miracles and blossom in tone i have this one kind of made because i like the recolor a little bit more but girl these are so hard to get by so let's say i wanted to do mori girl even though this says uh to craft meaning that like i could finish the hair the shoes and I, I guess the hat it's kind of misleading because after you use all your rings for the hair then you won't have enough for the shoes and for the hat depending on how many hope rings you have so i personally don't have enough hope rings and i know that and even for the dress itself you need 443 hope rings and what in the world and how can you get that much so number one there are several places where you can get hope rings and i think this is more for people who are in associations already thus these are somewhat advanced tips if you go to workshop there are several items over here that you can get for cheap and for like not diamonds or coins or stamina and then you can decompose them so my favorite ones are actually bobo shoes compared to bobo's shoes and bobo's socks even though bobo's sock does give a little bit more of the hope rings it's not that much of a difference but then it is a little bit more expensive in terms of the bracelets and the earrings so here i i literally spent all my earrings so i'm just gonna go here to decompose and then going to the shoes and these are bobo shoes so they are three heart items and I'm just going to decompose them, seven of them, and let's see how much I have. 20 hope rings, so that's already a huge one, and I didn't spend any diamonds, coins, or hearts. So you can look into the different type of outfits over there, but for now, I know that Bobo's shoes and socks are one of them. And I was looking at the drop rates for each one of them, and I think Lunar's one is also pretty good. So this is a four heart item, and this would be better for the rebirth earrings if you needed them. So I'm just going to buy like few of them i'll just buy like five accessories hibiscus pistol so four 
and five rebirth earrings. So I think that's pretty good for the drop rate. So there's also like another one you could do. I personally only use this one when it comes to me not having anything to craft during stamina events. So if you go to design craft and scroll all the way to the back here, oops, accessories, and then you go to the three heart item, which is called sprig necklace. I personally like using this because for bone tooth necklace, you can just spam maiden stages, but then for the star wish necklace, you actually need to buy, which isn't that bad, but then um, overall decomposing these it's actually bomb so for the sake of the video i'll just do it um let's say i decided to just buy i don't know like 25 it's not that expensive and then we're going to craft multiple make six of them and then i'm going to decompose them over here in accessories so here it is i'm just going to do six of them and you can see that the rings that it gives it's actually a lot like 18 rings for just six of them so it's actually pretty great and i'm just going to pop this open Another thing I wanted to show you just so like as a side thing for the decomposing is that if you have extra clothes, extra clothes are just basically clothes that aren't useful at all. So you see the tags over here. If there is like a knitting thing, it means that you can evolve it. If there is a recipe card, then it means it's like part of a recipe. And if there is a paint can over here, then it means that it's customizable. So that's why these items won't be selected. The only items that will be selected are the ones that don't have any of these tags, meaning that they're not useful for anything at all, even if you have a double for it. So yeah, there's that one. And I'm just gonna decompose, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And yeah, that's it for this tip. So for this one, it's just going to be a quick trick about dyes because the last thing you wanna do is like, let's say you wanna customize something, right? Like you customize it and then you realize that you don't have enough of that item. So like you have to click it and you can also hold it and then it eventually goes up. So like that, but like there's a better way and you can just do it in bulk first. So let's say you have a surplus of starry coins like me and you just kind of want to use them. So I'm actually going to look at a lifetime suit by clicking starlight store design and then there she is, that's the first one. And then I'm going to go all the way down here and you see how they're already like set to be like 47 or like 33 and 15. If I click on this, and then I can just continue buying. And that's not it, right? Like you, you're just like, oh, it's a one-time thing and you have to go back and click. No, if you keep pressing exchange, you can just keep buying it in bulk. I already have like 90 something. So I don't need to click on that anymore. And that was so fast and so easy and something I discovered. And I was like, wow, girl, I can't believe I actually found it. And yeah, so same with this. I can just continue pressing exchange without any worry whatsoever. And let's say what's another big boy, like blue. That's a big boy. Keep pressing that boy. Keep going. And then now I have like 99 in stock. So bomb, that's bomb. And that's easy. And that is what I bring to you guys. Oh, and future Effie over here, like I'm editing, but I really wanted to put this in my video and I forgot to say it, even though I wanted to say it. It's like, I open it with saying, does it ever make you want to die when you keep clicking the die so that you need to get more die? Okay, you know what, whatever, let's move on. So, tip number seven. So here's my final tip for you guys for today and this is actually kind of interesting and I know a lot of you guys don't actually like the home option because there's not much to do here but girl okay so I like to keep a nice home like even though I don't use it a lot I want a nice home and the problem is is that I'm not able to use some of the items over here so let's say I go up to my room uh, like room two and then I want to place something down so place and I want to go to the bath so I have these items but I can't use them I have kitchen items but I can't use them. And the only way for me to use them is if I go here and unlock it for 218 diamonds. No, I would never ever spend money on my home because I like it, but I don't like it that much. But that's a shame though, because I really want to use stuff like here. Wait a second, didn't I just say that I couldn't use any of the kitchen items? So here it is. This is my tip for you guys or hack or glitch. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch, maybe it's not, but it's like a way that I bypass it. So turns out when you actually commission something, so let's go to a friend's house. This is Alice. If I go to commission, I can ask her to commission for me. And this is her stylist info. This is because she does do this type of stuff. And then if you guys are like talking on Facebook or in real life, you can ask them to use these items for them. So even if their house is not high level enough, as a stylist, you have sole authority over all their items and you are allowed to place items that they're not allowed to place which includes kitchen items and bath items so going back to my house this is me and you can see that earlier I was not allowed to put any of those items down but somebody I commissioned was able to do that like you don't need a friend you can just commission it and then hope that the person who commissioned your place did a good job because the person who did my place mwah, chef's kiss and then uh, let's go back downstairs so go to room one one and then you can see kitchen items these are kitchen items and they used it for the kitchen. 
and I love it. I personally can't use it, but they made it there and now my house is beautiful and dainty. I'm wondering if I am able to move these items myself. So it turns out I can, but I'm not gonna mess with it because I just don't wanna. And yeah, that's my tip for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I really did my best this time to make the tips kind of new and something you guys haven't thought about. Uh, like I play this game day in, day out. So I was really working hard to find some unique tips for you guys. So even if you guys have heard of like one or two of them, I hope you guys haven't heard at least a majority of them or even like found one new tip from me. But yeah, if you like this type of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the whole world to me. Let me know which one was your favorite tip in the comments below. And yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye!